and image. So, you know, here's how we're going to approach these next steps. So, I think there's ultimately not a way to completely, you know, push the liability away from anybody if anything were to happen. But again, it's just the, it's the vetting up front and those really real conversations before we do the talent buy and actually get them onto the program. Anyone else? Any? Yes. I think uh, the, the concept of influencers itself has influenced so much by what we've seen with the rise of uh, totally anonymous people putting a YouTube video out there and winding up with 50 million views. Clearly, they're very influential. But in the context of, of this session of creativity, why aren't we creating influencers, okay? Why, why do influencers have to be Michael Jordan for Nike? I mean, no one could be more authentic for a brand than Michael Jordan was and is for Nike. But what about the world's most interesting man? Right? <laughs> uh, and, and boy, did they make a mistake when they got rid of him and got a new most interesting man who turned out to not be very interesting. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would think that the advantage to coming up with a quote unquote fictitious influencer gives you a hell of a lot more creative control. That's very interesting. And of course, through there's lots of companies like Disney and Pixar and other companies, of course, at um, Marvel and others that you, you know, have created, obviously through animation, um, those paths, but you sort of, I, I think you're saying you sort of expect it from that, whereas for brands, it's a different, different concept. Anybody want to take that one real quick, because then we have to wrap up? No? I mean, I know I, I can be real quick. So there are people out there doing that. There's like, for instance, a channel, I don't know, maybe you guys heard of it. It's like Lil McQuella. It's basically, you may have, yeah, you may have seen it. Um, so it's a, it's like a, it's a person that's kind of like, I, I don't know how you would pronounce it, but basically it's like a digital person that's actually not a real person. And she's probably close to a million right now. I don't know what she is, a million on uh, Instagram. And it turns out it's a company that created her and it's actually not a real person at all, and she's going and taking photos with like real celebrities, and then it's just spiral effect of numbers that are going up. And I know that I, I was formerly at a company called The Audience uh, years ago, and, and we took our hand at trying to create influencers. And, I, and I, think, I think it boils down to this. It's you can throw money at a person and try to make them look cool, but I think there's no secret formula that actually can make somebody famous unless they just constantly post with other famous people or I feel like it's a lot of luck. I feel like it, if you've got a lot of money, I think you can do it. Um, and a lot of times in my position, I know a brand won't invest in something that has lo low return on investment technically, but um, I think it's a great idea. I think it's a great point that you bring up though. Well, thank you. Okay, so we're gonna wrap up here today. Everyone, please give our panel a warm, rousing applause. Thank you all so much for participating. Thanks, thanks. And please enjoy the other panels. Make sure you check yeah, your schedules. Yeah, let me um, shoot you an email. And I have them. They're twin boys, so. Oh, Good. yeah? How are you? What's your email? And I'll, uh... Hey, how are you? Good. My name's, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. I don't have any on me. Oh, you do? Yeah. Sure, of course, yeah. I've got a really nice oh, right now. Yeah, I'm right now. Yeah, I'm right now.